hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl marceline here and today i am going to be making some garlic butter shrimp for you guys some really nice garlic butter shrimp so don't go anywhere stay tuned i am going to get this shrimp clean and if you are here for the first time and you're not yet subscribed make sure you go ahead hit that red subscribe button hit the thumbs up button and make sure you leave a comment in the comment section okay so this is my shrimp this is what they're looking like right now i am gonna de-vein and i'm also going to remove the heads and then i will come back and show you guys how i season so guys i want to keep the shell on because you know that um the shell adds a lot of flavor to the shrimp so i want to do that so what i do is just remove the head and then i cut the back here leave the shell on and then um seems like this one has the vein itself when i remove the head sometimes when you remove the head it automatically de-vein them but not all the time so let's see how this one goes all right so what i do is i just try to cut in here with a little sharp knife and then i just take the vein from here out so you leave it nice and clean no poop okay no poop but i like to keep the shells on so that you know it adds a nice flavor to your sh to your shrimp when you cook it Okay guys, so my shrimp is clean and ready. I have de-veined them as I showed you guys before and I've washed them with some lemon. So we're ready to season and I'm just gonna add some random season. So whatever season you have at your home that you usually use, you just go ahead. I'm gonna add some, a teaspoon of bouillon and a tablespoon, a teaspoon of garlic and some Creole seasoning. This season is bomb. I'm gonna add just a teaspoon of that. And some pepper. All this seasoning contains salt, so I don't need to add any salt. Now I'm gonna grate some garlic for this as well, but I'm not ready for the garlic as yet. So guys, I'm just gonna Use this spoon to mix the season up, and then I'm gonna add some scallion and some butter. So guys, I have added my scallion, and now we're gonna go over by the stove, and then I'll add my garlic, my grated garlic, and my thyme later. Okay, so I'm just gonna add my butter. So guys, I have my stove on medium to high heat and then I'm going to add my shrimp. First, I'm going to saute them for about two minutes and then I'm going to add my garlic, my grated garlic and my thyme. And then I'm going to cover it and let it simmer down for about another five minutes. So guys, we don't want to overcook our shrimp. So as soon as I start to change color, we're going to add our garlic or grated garlic and some time we're just going to cover that and let it 
everything get to infuse properly. So I'm, add, I'm also adding some lime juice, some lemon juice to this as well. And as you guys realize, I didn't add any pepper because this, this one is for the kids. I'm gonna make some Jamaican pepper shrimp for the adults. So you don't need to cook this for more than seven minutes. So guys, it's been seven minutes. I'm gonna turn them off. I don't wanna cook them for longer than seven minutes because I don't want them to get rubbery. So I'm just gonna put them on a plate and show you guys. Okay guys, here it is. It's all done and it's nice and juicy. And my daughter is here licking her lips. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Here is the shrimp. Give this video a thumbs up and if you still haven't subscribed as yet, go ahead and subscribe. Your girl have some banging videos coming for you guys, so stay tuned. I love you all and I'll see you guys in my next one.